We need to talk about Ter Stegen, and he's becoming a problem, THE problem, and if we don't fix it, it will be over for us in Europe again. Before we go into the shambolic classical performance, where he couldn't save a basic Bellingham shot for a supposed top level keeper, let's analyze previous performances which sort of hint at this. Because if we look at his prime, it was mainly around the time he joined the club in 2014, up until 2019, where he was consistently a top level keeper. His distribution was on par with the best keepers in the world, and he was earning comparisons with Allison, De Gea at the time, Oblak, and Neuer. Then following that period, he faced a knee injury, and that started his awful decline. Analyzing his play from previous years, he was a top, top keeper at saving high shots. Even looking at the save against Sevilla he made in 2019, he was able to go really high and save this shot, but look at the movement of his knee and how he's able to make that leap. If you fast forward a couple of years and look at the shot he faced against Sani, against Bayern in the Champions League, I obviously can't play the full clip, but notice how he stays on his feet the entire time and limits the movement of his legs in regarding to jumping. The reason behind this can be attributed to that knee injury that happened. He's been facing this type of problems since the 18-19 season in a significant manner, and it has shown. In games against Bayern, weirdly like all of them post their treble season when we defeated them against Pep Guardiola, we could sort of have a timeline of all of his mistakes. In that 8-2 game, he absolutely saved nothing and was a problem on all goals, and it actually was so bad that he had a surgery a couple days later because of how bad his knee was. And obviously I cannot put all the blame on Ter Stegen because at one point we had Semedo, PK, Longley, and Alba as our defense, so it was over before it even started, but his incapability of making these high saves has been noticeable. And I know people are gonna immediately point to last season where we famously conceded nothing over the span of the season. And if you watch Barca games and see how we conceded goals, they all come from this problem. Even analyzing the games once again, all of his incredible saves come from low shots, either in 1v1 situations or even longer distances. Now this is something that teams have started to take notice of as well. If you analyze recent games, especially in Europe, that whole fear element when facing him literally doesn't exist. Valverde time and time again has taken high shots. Chalinoglu last season capitalized by doing a subpar shot from far out against him in the Champions League. Knuff with Frankfurt in Xavi's first season did the same in the Europa League. And then there's also Sani and Bellingham who also did it. So saying all of this, if I were Xavi, what would we do with him? And to be quite honest with you, similar to what we're going to plan on doing with Lewandowski, we need to phase him out. And ideally you have someone like Arnaut Tanas, who was there last season, who would have been a perfect, perfect replacement because he had the know-how being from La Masia, quite a strong personality as well, and was the ideal age. But what do you guys think? Can he really become someone we can rely on? But even if he isn't, we'll keep supporting Barca, so as ever, Visca el Barça.